This video is how to create a new MetaMask account or multiple accounts within your same MetaMask wallet. So we can use the same application to manage multiple accounts. That is, they have different wallet addresses and are separate accounts, but we manage them all within the same MetaMask application. We can have different wallet addresses, but these are all linked to your same seed phrase and managed within your same MetaMask wallet. Firstly, open up your MetaMask wallet and expand view so you get the page like this. So go to your extensions and then click the three dots to expand view. It will bring up this page right here. Now we can add an account. So go to the center where your wallet name is, click this and you should see this drop down box. If you have the older version of MetaMask, it might be on the right hand side, but still you can click the three dots and then you should go to accounts, click accounts and then add account. Right now I'm gonna to go to this one though, so click this and it says add account right here. What I'm gonna be doing is adding a brand new wallet address, but this is going to be linked to my existing wallet and seed phrase. So I'm gonna click add account. And then as you can see here, it says account four. So I can put this name in or any other name and I've added previous accounts before and I can click create and that is going to create that address for me. So what it does actually is creates a brand new wallet address. I'm gonna to go to accounts right here and click on one that I've previously added, which is this one right here. So I'm gonna click this and as you can see, a brand new wallet address, a different wallet, and of course the assets that I have in other wallets are not going to be in this one. You can see the wallet address here is different. Now important is that this wallet address has been created with my original existing MetaMask seed phrase. So any accounts that you have here, the main account that you got when you set up the wallet, account one, account two, account three, account four, all of these will be created using your same seed phrase. So if you reload MetaMask on a different device and you reload your seed phrase in there, you can see all of these accounts. Importantly, when you do restore a MetaMask, it's only going to restore the first account for you. So what you can do if you have other accounts added and you can't see them is just click add account again. And what it's going to do is reload all of the accounts that you set up previously in order until you keep clicking add account. And then if all of the previous accounts have been reloaded, then you'll start creating new accounts again. But all of these are available through recovery using your original seed phrase. Once you've created accounts, you can get the details of them via the three dots on the right hand side of the account screen. So go to your accounts, right hand side dots, and then account details. Each of your accounts is a different wallet address and the private key will be different as well. So you can jot those down if you want. You don't really need them though, because as long as you have the seed phrase of the wallet that you've created, all of them will be recoverable through that, but you can export the private key details for each of the wallets if you want. You can also add hardware wallets to your MetaMask account. Now these are completely different. So if you go to account here and you can actually go add account, but then hardware wallet. Now you can add a hardware wallet like a ledger or a trezor right here. Now what you're doing is just allowing MetaMask to view your hardware wallet if it's set up. You're not exposing your private keys or your seed phrase or anything like that to MetaMask. You're just letting the MetaMask view the assets that you have in there. And in order to sign transactions with MetaMask, you need your hardware wallet plugged in. I've got other videos on those and setup guides, which I'll link in the description. Um, these are the safest way to store crypto and you're not exposing any of your hardware wallet details by linking those accounts. But any other accounts that you add for right here via add account are linked to your MetaMask seed phrase. Your hardware wallet is completely separate. Some tips on creating new accounts and why you'd want to do this. Well, it's just good wallet management to have separation of activities within your wallets. So for example, you can have one wallet account and address that you use to interact with DeFi or NFT platforms. Definitely a bit more degen and risky because there are websites and links that may drain certain uh, assets from your wallet. So you can separate your interaction with blockchains wallet from your investments wallet. You can have a hardware wallet that you put your investment assets in and then send those to a burner wallet if you want to interact with them in some way. So you only get hacked for a small amount if that happens. What you can also do is look at your wallets and see what permissions you have granted to applications 
on a wallet by wallet basis or account by account basis with those different wallet addresses. So you can go to something like revoke.cash. I'll link this in the description. This shows all of the approvals that each wallet or each account or each address has given to DeFi applications. So go to get started and you can see all of the approvals that you've given to all of these applications. I'd recommend your investment assets in a hardware wallet have basically no approvals for anything so that you have the least attack surface. You can then send those assets to a burner account that you've created in MetaMask and you can interact with things if you want. And so that has a broader attack surface, but you only put assets in there when you're interacting and then back into the investment account um, when you don't want to interact with anything because you just never know. And that's better wallet management to hopefully reduce attack surface of your assets. If you need the MetaMask beginner's guide, I'll link that down in the description for you. I'm James of MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.